Okay. All right, let's get into action. Now, this is not new. Again, we learned it somewhere in SEC 2, but they never go uh, discuss all the techniques. They only discuss 3 to 12 techniques in SEC 1, SEC 2. So uh, in SEC 3, then that's where we show you every technique that we need, need, need you to know in SEC 3 to SEC 4. All right, so here we go. Uh, the three section of it, C is more like a summary table. So there are two things, right? A and B. A is testing for purity. B, methods of separation, i.e. separation techniques. So here we go. And this is where people start to lose maths. Okay. All right. Testing for purity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm drinking water now. How do you know this water is pure? Very simple question. Give you two marks. Describe how you test it. What is the test result? What is the observation? Okay. Very simple. So when the question come out like that, all right, there are only three methods or three ways to test a substance whether it's pure or not. You can so-called test for its melting point, or you can test its boiling point. For both of these methods, very simple. If it's pure, they will melt or boil at a fixed temperature. So for example, water, H2O, we all know that the melting point is zero degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius. This is how they melt and this is how they boil. But if it's impure, that's where it gets very fun. Two things. Most of you know that it will melt over a range of temperature and boils over a range of temperature. But a lot of people don't appreciate the second one which is the melting point will start at a lower temperature, whereas the boiling point will start at a higher temperature. So if you look up, the hand signal is like this, that my students remember forever. Just remember when there's an impurity, it goes this way. A lot of people, oh, it decreased. A lot of them, it increased. No, it's not. It's one increase, one in decrease. Everyone okay? One up, one down. Why is the reason this is hardcore physical chemistry? I can't explain to you the in-depth version of it. That's even beyond tertiary education. Okay? But this is the observation. This is a phenomenon and we use it to apply. It starts at lower temperature and boiling point, it starts at a higher temperature. What do I mean by that using water? Let me use kinetic particle theory to guide you. Here we go. All right. This is the number line in kinetic particle theory. Those I've taught you before, I use this line in the topic, right? Once I know it's a do melting boiling point, I don't wait. I use this line. And let's say this is pure water. I'm very sure this is the melting point and this is the boiling point. Okay? And this one is pure. When it's impure, I'm very sure this is what happened. All right, it melts at a lower temperature. And it's over a range. Uh, all these values are fake values. I don't know what is the actual temperature is melt. I don't remember all these things. But I know it occurs at a low temperature. And when I boil it, the water start to boil not at 100. It start to boil only at a higher temperature say 101, and it will finish boiling or change to gas at a higher temperature, i.e. over a range. There's something I'm very sure. Lower and higher, melting and boiling point. Okay, consider that. Any question? All right, a number line. The third method of uh, looking at whether something is pure or not is known as paper chromatography or chromatography, all right? In English, I call it chromatography. So uh, if it's pure, you only have a single spot seen on the paper and the paper has a name. All this we'll discuss likely next week. Uh, you'll be next week, right? Chromatogram. If it's impure, then I will see two or more spots, basically more than one spot seen on the paper called chromatogram. Basically, only three ways to find out whether something is pure at our level. All right. If not, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I have one simple MCQ for you to play. All right. What is the actual answer? Okay. Take a look at the question. And again, I'm going to use the number line. All right. When heated 
steadily and in pure solid. In pure, what color did I use just now? I used pink. It starts melting at 1 to 1 and becomes completely molten at 1 to 6. They ask you, what is the melting point of the four pure solids of X? They give you these four and which one could be X? X means what? The pure X. And you know what? I'm done. If I don't draw this out, I will solve it a long time ago in a few seconds. This is called pure X. It's the same diagram that I've introduced to you in the water example just now. Melting point, boiling point. Correct? You take a look what information you have. The information is in pink. Where is 1, 2, 1? Remember what happened when you have impurity? Impurity will lower the melting. We are here. And a lot of you all got it wrong. And therefore, the answer must be... Congratulations. I think the two person or three person got D. Most of you choose A and C. I told you the power of the number line really. Yes, since kinetic particle theory. Use it. Okay, understand what you're doing. Okay. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.